His name is also associated with some work that he did on the Agatston score. It's the coronary artery calcium score. And that's what this video is about. Do you remember this guy? Arthur Agatston. He wrote a book called The South Beach Diet. It came out after the um, the original, gosh, maybe in the, was it in the 80s, 90s? After the original focus on the Scarsdale diet. And everybody said, that's a weird diet, ketogenesis and all of that's really crazy. Again, that was a couple of decades ago. The South Beach diet was maybe a kinder, gentler, easy button for the Scarsdale diet. Arthur Agatston is a kinder, gentler kind of uh, preventive cardiologist in South Florida, in Miami, South Beach area. But that's not what we're talking about. His name is also associated with some work that he did on the Agatston score. It's the coronary artery calcium score. And that's what this video is about. So, Agatston uh, came up with and proposed a scoring uh, mechanism, and it's used a lot. It's basically five different levels, 0, 1 to 10, 11 to 100, 100 to 400, and 400 and above. Uh, 0 is there's no calcium seen on the, on the calcium score. Uh, 1 to 10, minimal, and again, minimal risk associated with, with that. 11 to 100, again, mild risk. 100 to 400, moderate risk, and 400 and above significant risk. And yes, I've got lots of patients who have Agatston scores in the thousands. Um, maybe an easier way, if you don't want to remember Agatston score, and a lot of people don't, the e easier way is just to look at percentile. If you're at the 50th percentile, you're at about average in terms of your risk of a heart attack and stroke by calcium measurement in your coronary arteries. Like I said, I think there's better ways of measuring this. Uh, this is clearly better than a stress test, which is the most common, the standard. It's a heck of a lot less invasive than an angiogram. You don't have to go to the cath lab and get a, steedl, a needle and a, and a cath stuck up through your arteries in your groin. Um, it's certainly better than a, a path report. But I use um, CIMT. Now, here's the problem with CIMT. We've talked about it many times. A good quality uh, CIMT is not available in a lot of places. I'm able to get them, though, for my patients all, the way, all across the United States. If you've made it this far, I appreciate your interest. Hey, if you're interested in a two-day boot camp type of environment where you get your CIMT, you get all your labs, and we spend two days going over the whole thing, check out our event. It's November 8th and 9th at Louisville. Great place to fly into in November at the University of Louisville.